from Marvel and James Gunn, the director and studio who surprised everyone with Guardians of the Galaxy, comes a cool-looking, super fun, laugh-out-loud, but ultimately kind of forgettable sequel. What? It's still better than all the other Marvel Part 2s, except for Winter Soldier. Is that better? Guardians of the Galaxy, Volume 2. Blast off again with Marvel's Space Avengers, a team of misfits who learned how to work together in their first movie, then turned back into a-hole so they can learn it all over again. You like a professional ass or what? In this playful action comedy where the heroes never really get hurt, <laughs> the danger never really feels that imminent, <laughs> and the jokes definitely don't fall flat. But let's be honest, they aren't as funny as the characters think they are. <laughs> <laughs> okay, guys. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's funny, you know. So scale it back a little. <laughs> hey, let me decide when to laugh, all right? <laughs> oh, just shut up. <laughs> Catch up with all your favorite heroes like Star Lord, who discovers he's the son of a god, and a moron. Well, I don't know what you're talking about, but I like the way you say it. Gamora, who ditches the strong, silent badass trope to become a strong, silent badass with the more interesting sister. An ad for baby Groot toys. <laughs> Rocket, whose eyes don't work, apparently. Damn it. I'm using my left eye? I'm using my wrong eye again, aren't I? Yeah, that's how eyesight works, you stupid raccoon. Did I miss something? Newcomer Mantis, with the power of getting roasted by everyone. You are horrifying to look at. I never thought she'd be able to do it, with as weak and skinny as she appears to be. Oh, I'm imagining being with you physically. Including herself. I'm certainly grateful to be ugly. <laughs> And Drax, the once tragic warrior who's become an aggressively dumb sex freak. Did you make a penis? I like a woman with some meat on her bones. My father would tell the story of impregnating my mother. I have sensitive nipples. It would make my nether regions engorge. Oh, look, you have a good thing going with Drax. Don't take it too far and Urkel your best character. Ow, my nipples! Prepare for an episode of My Two Dads in space. In a film that's so high on friends being your real family, you'll swear you're watching a Fast and Furious movie. I finally found my family. I thought you already had. You are not friends. You're right. We're family. I don't have friends. I got family. Space Dad 1 is Ego, the living planet of exposition. I call it the expansion. It is my purpose now. It is yours. As he proves, everything's better with Kurt Russell, making Ego the Living Planet grounded and relatable, until he goes full Marvel villain and becomes a blue alien made of sky beams who wants to rule the universe, while Space Dad 2 proves that everything is better with Michael Rooker, as Yondu is retconned into a good guy who just wanted to be a good pappy, all to create maximum emotional impact when he's killed off in the most tragic Marvel death since, uh, no. Eh, she was in her 90s, so he came back, he came back, he came back, he came back, twice, he came back on TV. Quicksilver? Eh. Wow, I guess it's Yandu by default. I'm very popular, y'all! So get ready for a great time at the theater as they bring back everything you loved about the first movie. The music, the slow-mo walks, and the insane visuals to the things you didn't think could come back, like the laughing at the dumb name bit. Star-Lord. Who? Your name is, it's Taserface? Rocket having someone steal a fake body part for him. I was just kidding about the leg. What? No, I, th I thought it'd be funny. It wasn't funny? He's not gonna know where his eye is! And undercutting most of the serious dramatic moments with jokes, even the emotional climax of the film. I tried so hard to find the form that best suited you. It's okay, Marvel. We've been following these movies for 10 years now. You can let us go without a chuckle for 10 minutes. Finally get to be the father I've always wanted to be. Excuse me, gotta take a whiz. Maybe not. Starring Arthur Meme, Han Brolo, Greena, Warrior Princess, Big Blue Beetleborg, Drag Shepherd, I am Merch. Star Fox, do a barrel roll. Whistle while you murk. Mantis Toboggan. 
Ego the Slutty Planet, and Ready Player One. Dead Rock the Movie. It's called a Zune. It's what everybody's listening to on Earth nowadays. Uh oh, the Zune is from the early 2000s. I don't think Starler's gonna be happy when he finds out what happened to Rock and Roll. Cut my life into pieces. This is my last resort. I'm Pickle Rick. I am Mary Poppin' Jewel. I'm a fluffy kitten with my sassy macrame mittens. The Toby McGurry dance in Spider-Man 3 was epic. I just pooped a J.